everybody. Welcome to Entrepreneur, a podcast by MT Bank. I'm your host, Deetra Miller, a senior vice president at MT and a passionate advocate of multicultural and diverse small businesses. I love connecting entrepreneurs with resources and friends to help them succeed. This podcast aims to help entrepreneurs like you take that next step in your business. On each episode, we'll feature a fantastic multicultural and diverse entrepreneur or professional. Join us as we engage, empower, and share knowledge with entrepreneurs along their journey. We hope you enjoy. In this episode, we'll discuss how to build an ecosystem that is both effective and scalable to help you grow your business. So imagine this, you have a great business idea, your business is up and running, you are building your customer base, you are making money, Uh, Now you need to place your money somewhere. You may even be thinking about how to access credit to help you with your growing expenses. And you may also need some professionals to help you with the day-to-day operations of your business. So now what? Featured in this episode, we're going to be talking to small business advisor, Pat Marshall. Thank you, Deetra, and thank you for having me here. I'm so excited for your adventure with this podcast. I think it's great because I know you're so passionate about small and minority-owned businesses. We are so looking forward to uh, getting some of your insight on how to go about building a support system, building a network for your business. So we, as we get started, we really love for our audience to know a little bit about your background and why you're excited to be with us today. So um, a little bit about my background is I've been in banking for, I was in banking for over 20 years primarily with one institution and then I transferred to a smaller one in the latter part of my career and um, have done everything from being a credit analyst on the commercial side to being a mortgage officer, doing public policy as a lobbyist for about seven years and also running a minority business development group at our company for about five years. So the my background is pretty diverse in the banking area. Um, I've got to work on the cost center side and the profits for profit side. So that's been helpful. That's and great. Right now I've been I'm a business advisor with the Goldman Sachs Ten Thousand Small Businesses Program, and just love working with businesses, small businesses in particular, to help them you know identify their growth and work through some challenges to get to the other side and see some strong growth. So that's what I'm doing now. That's wonderful. And having such a diverse background really uh, puts you in a perfect position to be advising small business owners. So I know that they're learning a great deal from you and your experiences. So thank you for all that you do for small small businesses, particularly minority women-owned businesses. So for someone that's just getting started um, or they're in the beginning of their, their journey, or even those that are on the journey and a little bit confused about how to do this, what are three quick tips um, for a business owner as they're looking to build out their ecosystem so that they can, can get started on this? Uh, so I would say tip number one would be to don't isolate yourself. You know, you can work in your business, all day long but small business owners forget to work on their business and a huge part of working on your business i like to say in in that ecosystem is joining some business association you know find a community because your employees don't want to hear about you talk about business all day long your family doesn't want to hear you talk about business strategy all day long you need kind of a network of um, comfortable allies and so building out again and that ecosystem we're talking about finding those trade associations now most people say well what's the trade association well they're usually aligned with your industry or it can be your chamber of commerce so uh, chamber of commerce if you're a small business is a fir- is a really great start uh, let's see number two okay. I would say um, I think, you know, we talked about, um, you know, when you're a small business, you want to make sure that you have some professionals around you that are supporting you. So make sure you have a really good accountant because or and bookkeeper. So bookkeeper, a lot of times small businesses will have a bookkeeper and then you begin to outgrow that bookkeeper. You need to have a bookkeeper and then perhaps add an accountant. Um, And your accountant is somebody who's not just gonna do your taxes. You want someone who's gonna also help you um, to understand your numbers, um, to strategize around how to, um, what's your next level of growth. That might be your accountant or you may decide that you wanna bring on a CFO. 
And a CFO isn't just for large businesses. It's not just for medium sized businesses. Small businesses need to really think about having somebody who can strategize financially with you. So uh, tip number two would be around creating that environment uh, financially so you have a, um, a very good awareness of what your financials are telling you and how to manage your business from there. Okay. Uh, and and I, I think as a bank, you all will appreciate that because you see <laughs> from the other side, you when businesses come to establish their banking relationships, you want them to have some knowledge of their business and maybe even um, some projections as to where they're going to go. And without understanding your numbers, it's really hard to do. Right. Um, number three, I would say professional development. So find a, an organization, not just your chamber, that's what I talked about, that's your business allies who you can, you know, um, begin to network with. But you want to find, um, uh, you want to keep up on your leadership skills. And so professional development is a good thing. You know, we help you, um, you know, fortify your business by helping you learn some things, identify your pain points, and then, you know, perhaps uh, fill in some of the gaps. Maybe you're not strong in marketing and you want to take a class in marketing. Maybe you're not strong, as I go back to financials, you want to take a class in financials. Um, and so Goldman Sachs, 10,000 Small Businesses is a good program. Your program <laughs> that M&T um, has a great program as well. Um, community colleges have really good uh, leadership development, professional development courses that you can take. Um, so I would say, you know, always be one who wants to learn and grow um, in your industry because I'm sure your industry is not stagnant. Right. It's always going to be moving into new direction. Um, if you're IT, you better know a little bit about cybersecurity. Thank um, you. If you're IT, uh, if you're um, an e-commerce marketplace, you might want to know a little bit about social media because you know your next growth is based on that TikTok video. You <laughs> I just heard something about that this morning. How TikTok really is kind of the way that people are growing their their businesses. Even those in the music industry, that's a lot of times how new music is getting out is through these TikTok videos. So it's just interesting that they that they came up in our podcast. Just it, you know, I'm seeing it. A lot of businesses are like, ah, social media is not just Facebook anymore you know it's not just your IG page it is you know more so your LinkedIn page or TikTok and so you know just staying on top of what's happening in your industry is really key so those are my three tips um, you know okay for business owners out there so if I can sum that up I think I heard um, find your people find your people um, get anchored um, financially Mm -hmm. and invest in you. Those are the three things that I feel like I, I heard from, from those amazing tips that you just provided with us. So is that is that fair to say? I like how you couch those, thank you. <laughs> oh, you did a better job capturing the topic areas, yeah. Absolutely, those are the three things you can start. And, um, you know, don't be anxious. You go out there and, um, you know, business owners oftentimes, especially new business owners, are very anxious about next steps, what to do, who to meet, who do I talk to. Um, but the more you practice, the more you throw yourself out there in those environments, the more comfortable you become and the more successful you'll become in the end. Yep, I completely agree with that. Just got to get started, right? So having these three amazing tips, um, just kind of breaking it just down in little bites for small business owners. Hopefully this will um, help give some people the confidence they need to keep things moving forward. Absolutely. And there's a lot of help out there like Dietrich Miller and Pat Marshall. <laughs> Pat Marshall, Dietrich Miller. <laughs> <laughs> well, on that note, you know, thank you so much, Pat, for joining us and sharing these valuable gems with our audience. You know, how can everybody follow you if they are looking for more great advice? Okay, well, I I do have an Instagram page, but I don't use it that much. I think it's the last video is one of my son making a game winning shot. Uh, but on LinkedIn is for sure how most people can reach me. So LinkedIn, I'm at Patricia War W A R R Marshall. Um, so reach out on LinkedIn. I'm very uh, pretty active there, so that would be good. Um, you can also reach me. I I'll give you my personal email. Uh, it's Marshall P W at Gmail .com. Um, I am working on my own website for my business advising business and um, 
I'll have that for you in the next podcast. <laughs> That's great. And so we'll hopefully be able to share out that information for our audience so that they can reach out to you if they have any um, questions for how to continue to, to build their business and, and just continue to move along on their journey towards growth. So I encourage all of our uh, viewers to follow Pat. You know, I also encourage everyone to follow MNT Bank across all of our social media because we're we're going to share more incredible stories. Um, we're going to have more subject matter experts like Pat joining us, and you know, you won't want to miss it. So take care, everyone, and stay tuned for the next episode of Entrepreneur.